belated congratulations to Daryl Epp of uh, Hamilton, Ontario, who we think of as our resident poet. Uh, he's been sending me his poems for, uh, God, it's got to be a pretty good decade now. And uh, his book, After Hours, is going into a second printing. Yes, don't adjust the, uh, the sound on your computer. You heard right, a poetry book going into a second printing. So uh, congratulations to Daryl on that. And uh, do, we have, do we have time for poems? Sure, there's always time for a couple of short poems. Faux pas is the name of this one. Like the time I said get lost to that mutant vagabond asking for dimes with tears in his eyes, only to realize with a shock it was just me staring into the mirror glass facade of the nation's largest bank. After Hours from Mosaic Press, uh, which you can check out on, uh, on the internet and they will have ordering information for you. And a quick preview of the cover of Daryl's next poetry book, which will be called Permanent Smoke. And you residents of Hamilton will recognize three distinctive Hamilton images there. Both covers with a ridiculous amount of pointillism by Gord Puller, who, oddly enough, also turns out to be a Cerebus fan. Cover price of U.S. $14.99, Canadian $18.99. And if you amortize that across all of the little dots that you get on the cover, uh, he's practically giving them away. Okay, and we also have a final package ready on the uh, Cerebus Canadian postage stamps. Uh, see, it says right there, 10 Canadian Cerebus postage stamps, A. Eh? And uh, it's also, as you can see, postage stamp number one. And we'll be doing a Kickstarter with this one. Um, not right away, we're still trying to get things uh, organized around uh, Sandeep's departure, which is imminent, and uh, we don't want to be throwing a Kickstarter on top of that. It's tough enough getting, getting things done. So uh, the package includes 10 Cerebus postage stamps and four postcards. We got the one which is uh, that's actually size as from the original artwork for the cover of Cerebus Volume 1. And we've got a Cerebus Number 1 postcard and a Cerebus Number 5 cover postcard and a Cerebus Number 6 cover postcard. So, four postcards. Uh, these are the largest postcards that can still be called postcards. Uh, postcard by uh, by Canada Post. You get uh, the four four postcards and ten service stamps in the package for thirty dollars Canadian. And this is what the package is going to look like. Um, you get the plastic bag. You get the four postcards. The ten stamps, you get a spiffy, a moment of Cerebus resealable sticker on the back. And this will be mailed to you in a bubble mailer for uh, the $30 Canadian price. Or, if you're poor like me, uh, you can get one Cerebus postcard. The uh, cover of Volume 1 uh, postcard with two Cerebus stamps on it, which is, uh, well, it's so, sort of overpaying because they're 85 cent stamps and most of them have gone to the U.S., so that's overpaying by about, uh, 
I have about 40 cents, but the uh, way I look at it, Canada Post is trying to pay down his visa bill the same as the rest of us. Uh, and the instructions at the top, attention millennials, stamp goes here for the people getting the postcard package who uh, are maybe going, I don't know where the stamp goes. Well, it's, it'll be marked right on there. It, it goes up in, the, up in the upper corner. And all of the postcards, the postcards in the package and the individual postcards uh, will all be autographed by me. Never to be reprinted just like Canada Post does it, Cerebus stamp number one. Uh, keep watching a moment of Cerebus for details on that Kickstarter. Okay, well, I'm not really poor and neither are you. We live in the West as opposed to uh, Najibu Suli, who is uh, my foster child in Malawi. And we'll do a nice segue with this picture of Najibu. And uh, also plug my favorite charity, World Vision uh, for Children for Change for Life. Every hungry child is one too many. And they're a Christian organization that uh, does charitable works around the globe. Uh, their work in Malawi is actually with, uh, with Muslim families. Uh, Najibu is uh, a French Muslim child. Uh, so that's, that's kind of perfect for me. And uh, you get pick packages from them in the mail. Uh, your gift multiplies three times in value. Uh, the last one that I got actually multiplied eight time, 18 times in value. Uh, so I ended up uh, borrowing some money against my life insurance to make a substantial do donation uh, because these are genuinely poor people. Uh, these are people in need of potable water and uh, family food baskets and real basic necessities like that. So quick plug there if you uh, have a few dollars lying around. Uh, you can't do better than World Vision. Okay, and that'll do it for a weekly update for this week. Uh, please come back and join us next week when we'll have the results of Game 2 in the big June versus Ramadan final.